Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel. And today I'm going to show you how you can create 3D video console Nintendo using only these simple flat illustrations. And it's the favorite video console of my son, so I decided it will be fun to show you how you can do it in Adobe Illustrator. And if you're interested, then keep watching! Now you see the size of my workspace and these are colors which I'm going to use in my tutorial and if you want to take a closer look at the design and to download an original AI file with colors and my design you can do it on my Patreon page. And now guys let's start to draw. Well guys, my workspace is ready and the colors are already in the swatches panel. Let's take that gray color and rectangle tool and create rectangle with that options. Ok, move here. Now take blue color and again rectangle tool and create the rectangle with that options. Ok, move here. Now take direct selection tool, select these two points, hold and drag them to round the corners. Now select that shape, transform, reflect, vertical copy and move here. Take red color. Ok. Now let's take dark gray color and rectangle tool and create rectangle with that options. Ok. Now move it down. Now again select the rectangle and go to that panel, select these three points and write here 28. Now guys, let's create the buttons. We need dark gray color and ellipse tool and create the ellipse with that options. Ok. Now again go to ellipse tool and create one more ellipse with that options 22 to 22. Move here. Now let's take text tool and we need to write some letters X, Y, B, A. It's like on Nintendo console. Make here the size 20 and let's take for example uh, the font um, Roboto. I think it will be regular like that. Ok. And one more, take a um, polygon tool with three sides and we need triangle. Let's make it thinner like that and a little shorter. Ok, here all details are ready, let's create the Tetris. We need rectangle tool and red color, dark red color and create uh, the first rectangle with the size like that. Ok. Now go to Effect, Path, Offset Path and minus 3. Now take that color and now Pen tool. Create the shape like that and take light red color 
select that rectangle and bring to front. OK. It's ready. Now select it, hold ALT and make two copies. Now change the colors like that, blue and yellow. And now let's create the Tetris. I create my own game, you can create your own game. So you can play with rectangles as you like, for example, like that. OK. Uh, now at first uh, select the text, create outlines and ungroup it. Now select the Tetris, move here. Now guys, let's make 3D in seconds. Window, 3D and materials. And now go with me step by step. OK, move that shape here, select these three shapes and group them. And now object, inflate, select that icon and change options like me to create realistic 3D effect. There are no one rule to create uh, 3D effect, you need play with options every time when you create your design. So here you play with me and when you can create other console for example or something else and you need to play with options till you like the result. So the console is ready, take this shape, go to object, select that options, isometric top and move here to the center with help of arrows on your keyboard. Um, now let's take Tetris, but at first select and group it. Again that option and isometric top that option and now move to the screen like that now take the button move here and again go to object and play the options with me Well, well, the first button is ready. Now select it, hold ALT and make the copy, move here. OK, little move the buttons. Now take this little one and again go to 3D and materials and with me step by step. It's ready. Now let's hold ALT and make three copies of that button. OK. Now I want to add my own design for these buttons and I want to change color here. So let's take red color and here the same. Now select that shape, make it white, make it smaller, move here. And we need to make copies, one copy and reflect it horizontal. And here copy, 
transform rotate 90 degrees and transform reflect vertical copy okay the buttons are ready now go to object that option and isometric top and the same for the others triangles okay and now select all buttons without triangles hold alt and make the copy move here now select uh, the red buttons and make them blue and now we need the same with the letters take the letters and make them smaller and again that option and isometric top Okay, let's fix the letters like that. That's all, guys. Now let's create background. Let's take that blue color and rectangle tool. Create the rectangle like this. Send it back. And now, if you want to add more quality to your uh, design, go to Effect Document uh, Raster Effect Settings and take 300 ppi okay and now let's go to object expand appearance and now you can make your nintendo bigger for example if you like for example like that well guys that's all their 3d nintendo is ready well guys hope you like my tutorial if yes give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials in adobe illustrator or in the next videos about a graphic design bye bye guys Mwah.